Man, am I glad we got the manure spread when we did last week because things have changed in a big hurry. Here's a quick recap of the things we've been doing for the last week to try to get Harvest 2019 and fall tillage in the books. I hope you enjoy it. Well, I'm out here in the frozen tundra. We got the Chevy hooked up with the jumper cables to the 340 case. We're gonna try to chisel plow. We got four or five inches of snow the other night and the ground was not frozen yet underneath and it had already been too slimy to pull it. And so now, since it was 11 degrees below zero Fahrenheit this morning, I'm thinking the ground might be firmed up enough underneath that we can pull it. We're gonna give it a try. Got the tractor plugged in. We'll see what happens here. Oop, it's working. Here, pull down the truck. Grid heater's on. Grid heater's off. Well, I celebrated prematurely. That tractor ran about two minutes and then died. And I got it started again and it ran about 30 seconds and then died. All right, I've been running a little heater on the fuel filters for the last hour. And I've put some 911 uh, diesel treatment in the tank. So here we go, we're gonna give it a go again. This seemed like success at the time, but the success was short-lived. This began a cycle of starting the tractor and having it die after 20 seconds that lasted a long time, ultimately resulting in me giving up and waiting till the next day. So I may have achieved success, I'm not sure. I thought I had a couple times yesterday, but I spent four hours trying to get this thing to run yesterday, it was gelled up, and it would only run for 20 or 30 seconds at a time, and I've now had it running for about three or four minutes. That's really promising. I was able to get a good steady stream of diesel fuel to come out of the bleeder valve on the filter. So hopefully we've got her thawed out. We'll see. Yeah, you just, you took away the distractions that were there for the animal. So we were still barely able to pull it without sliding all over, so we took two of the shanks out of the equation by sticking them straight back, and things worked a lot better. It just seems crazy having so much snow on the roads hauling corn in from the field. But we're doing what we can to get something done, and that's what counts. What we're doing right now is we're actually putting corn right straight into a bin, wet right out of the field, and we're gonna dry it in a month or two when we can get enough propane. There's a major propane shortage right now, and this corn is right at the threshold where we think we're gonna be okay if we just put it in the bin and put some cold air on it overnight and get it really cold. It should keep just fine until early spring at the latest, where we can either blend it off or dry it down when we get the gas. Well, it was nice to see the snow start to melt away when the sun came out, but now none of the driveways to our cornfields are gonna work out for the old semi anymore. Oh well. So, current situation. The master cylinder is going out on the clutch on this here semi that I'm driving. Every once in a while, it'll act up pretty badly. You push it down and the clutch pedal will go most of the way to the floor and nothing will really happen. I had it so bad one time today when I couldn't get it out of gear. My nose is real itchy. I'm getting ready to go to church, but currently we have a wild calf living in our pine grove here. I've got the wife stationed around the other side. Gonna try to chase this calf around the corner and see if we can get him into one of our little pasture lots here at home.
What happened? He must have just went in the trees. So this is actually not our calf. He just kind of wandered out of the cornfield across the road about a week ago, and he's been living in our pine grove and grazing our lawn ever since. We chased him around and around, and he just kept diving back into the tree line. So we're going to need some more help. Right there he is over in the first row of the neighbor's corn. I decided just to put a water tub and a little hay out in the yard, and maybe I can get him used to human contact a little more, get him to calm down. Well, here we go. We're going to try it. Um, if you believe the radar, what's coming out of the sky right now isn't going to last but just a minute or two here, so see what happens. I've never done so much grain farming in my muck boots. I've heard it said before that there's a fine line between genius and insanity. I haven't decided which this is yet. <laughs> but it's working okay and we're combining. It's a little greasy on the ground, but the combine's working good. We're not losing any corn. And really it's just, I mean, underneath the top half inch of soil, it's just like it was yesterday. It's just that very top of the soil surface that's a little slippery. It's 2019, what are you gonna do? So this little grass strip here is so wet we can't even turn around on it, so we're having to back the semi to the blind side off the highway all the way up this lane here where we're loading it with the cart, and we're actually having to load it on the wrong side of the truck. Oh well. You know, at this point it's starting to look like it was a really good move to get going on that corn while it was still raining because the precipitation stopped about 45 minutes in. Things are drying up pretty nicely now. Everything's working great. We're going to get another good day of harvest in when it looked like there was no chance at all. So glad we persevered through it, but it definitely could have just as easily went the other way and we could have looked stupid and plugged the sieves up with corn silks and made a big mess. So we are about three or four loads short of what we wanted to get done today and had a giant belt break on the combine. This is a belt that we replaced about four weeks ago, five weeks ago. Really not very impressive. <laughs> it didn't last any longer than that. And this belt goes all the way from the front up there, up and over, down and under, clear back here. We gotta take this uh, belt off. We gotta take these two belts off. And we gotta take this variable speed adjustment system apart to be able to get the new belt in behind of everything and then put everything back together. Fun, fun. Well, after staying up fixing that combine late last night, this is what we woke up to in the morning. We got rain overnight that was not predicted and our end rows are such a mess. There's no way we're gonna be able to combine today even if the corn itself dries out. What a disaster. Well, we've waited a whole day <laughs> it hasn't got a lot better, but what we're going to try today is we're going to try to go over to the other side of the field where we have not tracked up the end rows yet because uh, I think that's why the end rows are holding so much water and so much mud. It's because we've already packed them down. So if we get over on the other side of the field where we haven't even combined yet, maybe we'll be able to get in there and get some corn out today. Our other option is just to wait until it starts freezing up at night and start only harvesting at night. So. We're going to see what happens. Here we go. Yesterday when we tried it, we were getting a lot of grain loss through the rotor. Right here on the corner post is where it shows the estimated amount of grain loss for the rotor and the sieves. It looks a lot better today than it did yesterday. Uh, the corn itself is a little bit drier. Uh, we had just had a rain yesterday morning when we tried it, so and I'm going pretty slow. I need to get speeded up to operating speed to really get an idea if it's going to work or not.
Well, getting over there off of the end rows that we had packed down the previous day and onto some fresh end rows made all the difference. It's going to work really good. Um, it's a little muddy underneath, but it is what it is. We've got to try to get some of this done. We've got about four to five days of harvesting left before we get all the corn out. And after we get our inch of rain tonight, we are probably definitely going to be limited to only being able to combine when the ground is frozen because the way the weather is set up there's no way it's ever going to dry out again so we're probably going to have to get onto a schedule of combining from about 3 a.m until 10 a.m whenever it starts to get the sun coming out and greasy enough that we can't combine and that's what we're going to have to do so anyway happy that we're able to go today thanks for riding along i'll see you next week